What time is it? Oh shit, six months? It's like a month longer than I wanted to sleep. Oh god, oh, T-Chats, oh my fans. My fans probably hate me now. Oh man, I, I haven't even started milking them for money yet. Support me on Patreon. Uh, well, guess I better start filming. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tea Chats. I'm your host, Alexander Poselski. I have a cup of tea with me. I suggest you pause the video, brew your own, and sip it with me while we chat. You know, you'd think that you'd feel well rested after six months, but honestly, I'm still really tired. <laughs> oh well, let's get into the show, shall we? Previously on Tea Chats. Last episode, our friend the Zabby Master noted that we killed a bunch of Muslims back in the day uh, during the Crusades, so why do we get to complain when they, as ISIS, kill a bunch of us? I mean, an eye for an eye, right? Proper justice? We cheer when Osama bin Laden gets shot in the face. Well, first off, let me address a bit of history. We tend to think that the Christians were doing pretty well during the Crusades when really it was always the Muslims who sort of held the upper hand. Uh, the truth of the matter is, the Christians only really succeeded in their first Crusade attempt out of about eight. Just like my attempts at getting a girlfriend. Although that girlfriend was in third grade, so I don't think that really counts. But still, we did kill a lot of Muslims. So, by the eye for an eye principle that drove the revelry in America the night Bin Laden died, shouldn't ISIS be justified in their attacks on the Western world? You might say, well, ISIS has killed more people, more brutally. But does that really hold as an argument? I think the time has long passed for the eye for an eye mentality to be applicable in the modern world. Like Gandhi said, we're all going to be blind soon if we keep thinking like this, not blind in a physical sense. Yes, ISIS is wrong for retaliating so violently, but if you think we need to eliminate them as an act of retaliation in turn, then you're fighting for the wrong reasons. ISIS should be eliminated because they're a threat to world security, but not as an act of revenge. Oh. What do you think? Is there any better way react to these situations than with the principle of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth? Let me know in the comments. That's the super stupid tabloid news call. I have some super stupid tabloid news for you. Look, I know this is a highbrow show and whatnot, but uh, I draw the line at Justin Bieber's dick. I mean, how could I avoid talking about this? He's the god of the children. In case you didn't know, October 7th was a very historic day. On this day, Justin Bieber's penis erupted out into the ethersphere. The world was in shock. Um, I have a couple questions. What is that behind him? Oh, there are people there, Justin. Why are you walking around with no clothes on? Didn't you check outside? Or, you know, could you put on some underwear? I mean, come on, man, you're famous. There are paparazzi in your toilet. Actually, what if he did this on purpose? C consider this. He's fading out of his infamy, right? So he stages a massive tabloid story to pull himself into the spotlight again. It sparks controversy. It brings him back into the public eye. It's a conspiracy. Genius. But I missed the point of this segment. I, I needed something to review, so I'm supposed to be reviewing the dick. I mean, I guess I was surprised when I first saw it. Uh, he's surprisingly well endowed. It looks like it shrinks a bit when he gets surprised though, so that could be a, a problem. Um, balls are tiny. I'd say he gains a point for size, but he loses a point for being Justin Bieber, so uh, Two out of five beaver points. Would never rate a dick again. Let's talk about me, shall we? 
It's it's been a while. I uh, I got a haircut, and I don't have a caterpillar on my upper lip anymore. So, ladies, I suppose gentlemen too, if you want to be fair about it. But you guys, you get the back burner. Ladies first, you know how it is. Let's be civilized here. All right, let's get real. Um, I've been gone for four months now, and it's been six since the last tea chat. The reason being, I was scared in a sense. I didn't expect the massive reaction tea chats two got. I made a vlog about it going into more detail, and you can click here um, and watch it. I've included a link in the description as well. I feel really bad about neglecting this channel for so long. I've been working on several other uh, really exciting projects, and maybe if they go through someday, then um, you'll hear about them. As for tea chats, I'm going to try to ease back into it with a bi-weekly schedule every other week. Um, and maybe after a while we can go back to weekly. I also have a co-writer now, so everybody, say hi to Isaac. Hello, my friends. My mic is kind of a piece of shit, but I might have to get a new one and, you know, join y'all on the show at some point. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Well, I think that's the end of our show. Keep in mind that this show is a conversation between you and I, so why don't you drop down into the comments below and leave a comment continuing the conversation. What do you think about the struggle against ISIS and the eye for an eye approach as a whole? Do you have anything to talk about? If you fancy the idea of chatting with me over a cup of tea every other Monday, then subscribe, and I'll see you in two Mondays. Actually, in the first episode, I asked you guys to Photoshop a frame from the video and then send it to me. And then I promptly forgot about it. So, here's what I got from the Zavi Master in all of its hipster wonderfulness. <laughs> here's a challenge for next episode. Uh, tweet at me here. Tweet at me some jokes uh, about Justin Bieber. I'll read the best ones out loud. See you guys next time. Oh, the tea is cold. Ugh.